particularly. So she's definitely one of those characters that, like, if Snake does go off stage and tries to make a recovery, she has tools to actually fight against Snake's recovery. Second strongest up here in the game? Yeah, I believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Insanely strong. So all right, we're already seeing the matchup right now. As soon as the match started, you get the uh, reflector out in the night. Uh, Zelda took 15 already, but you can look how look how the grenades is getting reflected back in a uh, Apollo Kage's face. Yeah, that's the one thing for 17. Doesn't really have to worry about like interacting with grenades and the art of being around them. And it's more of like, okay, this is a matchup that Apollo Kage has to make these kinds of approaches because things like grenade are no longer useful. You are forced. It's kind of like you're kind of like forced to play a different set of neutral than you normally would with Snake. I think at the range here is where you see grenades become a really good factor because they stop Zelda and her knight. And unfortunately, 17 rolled into a down tilt and has now put 17 kind of back on the stage with a grab. Nice tech chase. That was such a good reaction already. Like, man, he was already dashed back for the roll away. Had the perfect up tilt placement. That was really clean from Apollo Kage. So basically, when you're a Snake player. And you're playing a character that has a like reflector or absorb. A lot of times, you see what are their uh, habits like uh, for using the reflector, and then you kind of just like click, click the grenade a little bit longer, so it like blows up in their face when they try to absorb it or press B or reflect. You know, you know what I mean. I think that's actually been helping Apollo Kage a lot, getting these uh, grenades to actually work more effectively. But he's gonna land to that force smash there. Not too bad, honestly. Yeah, see right there, he's even baiting out the reflector now. Got that dash attack punish on it. And it's good too, because you don't want Zelda to get comfortable with that reflector, but you're also understanding like at what ranges you're gonna attack Zelda and her knight in that specific situation. You can see how Grenade is able to do that for Apollo Kage. And then now what was originally Zelda's greatest strength has kind of been the one thing that allowed Apollo Kage to have this lead that he has right now. What a good way to come in. Burst in a little bit with the flowers win, but still, 25% to Apollo Kage. I think for 17 here, it's Ooh. being cautious where the C4 lands, because that was the stock and a huge lead for Apollo. Yeah, Apollo Kage is playing very well. Uh, already has, for the most part, adapted to how 17 is using uh, the Nehru's Love and the Knight, or the Phantom, really. Uh, think about 17, he's just kind of... Oh, nice snipe. Wow, that was so strong. But yeah, the way he's using the reflector especially, he's not just like throwing it out immediately just to see if he can just not deal with the grenade at all, but Apollo Kage is waiting for that most of the time. Yeah. And Think about does have frame one invincibility though, so I can see why he's so willing to do that. But yeah, again, Apollo Kage can just wait. Okay, this is a good comeback right here though. Yeah, 17 on 66 oh, to 55. Oh. oh, that was good to try to go for the flowers win because now it's on Apollo. Oh no, oh. but the snake, the grenade timer. I don't think either of them wants to deal with the C4 Oof. right now, but... He still had it in play. He still had it in play. Yeah. That was a great grab. Yeah, I think when you do that too, you're still in the uh, the stun from being thrown. Yeah. So a lot of times you just... <laughs> you can't even air dodge. You're still, you're still stuck in what's basically called throw stun. So, like, yeah, you can't air dodge within that frame rate of that you have. So, really, really difficult there for 17. Uh, big shout-outs to Afro Among Four. Oh, Thank yeah, you so much forward. for the reset. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Uh, big shout-outs to you, man. 11 months with the sub, man. Uh, I will definitely tell you guys right now, if you are a sub or want to sub, uh, a, lot of, a lot of good things coming in store for all of you who sub. But for nobody who subbed yet, definitely feel free to consider hitting that sub button. 499 gets you ad-free viewing and, no, and those really good emotes. Sorry, totally almost lost my host wheel here. Um, but also, aside from ad free viewing and those emotes, if you don't sub, if you don't want to sub, or you got no cash on you, or get it at tough times, man, consider hitting the heart and the bell icon to be notified when we go live. And also, use those channel points, man. This guy's going to make those voting opportunities for you guys to happen live in the chat and take a guess at who will oh, win yeah, the we didn't, we didn't set up the prediction thing for this match. Or we'll do it the next one, I guess. At least I don't think we did. No, we didn't, we didn't. All right, we'll, we'll do that the next set. So you guys can bet on uh, the next match. But yeah, so we're getting Battlefield here. Uh, I love this stage with Snake, to be honest. I can see how Zelda would like it, though, because you have less places to run away from the night. Like, say yeah. you try to jump over the night, you end up, up on a platform, then the Zelda's pressuring you. Like, yeah, Speak of the devil, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There's just more opportunities to catch Snake landing on this stage. Oh, I actually like that. So, he got the knight to hit uh, Snake there while also hitting the grenade up as well with this sword swing. I didn't know it could do that. Kind of yeah. working out a little bit of a reflector in its own When way. I think about knight in this matchup and just in general for Zelda, knight is used to elicit a reaction from your opponent, specifically against Snake. But for Snake's case, when we saw it in PS2, right, having that distance between you and Knight is actually pretty good because you can just toss grenades and not have to worry about that interaction. It's Snake who wins the distance game there with grenades here. And then now, see how 17 Ooh. is forced to get in there. And that's really good for 17 because now the Knight has struck here. 76 here with uh, with uh, 156 onto a Palakake. Sorry for the names, they will be swapped. And yeah, yeah, are. it's uh, backwards, but it's fine. But uh, yeah, great punish from 17. Seeing him in uh, charging that Nikita a little bit unsafely immediately gets in his face with the upbeat. Very strong kill move there. And, oh, okay, not the best DI on that, but we're living. It's gonna stall the Nikita a little bit. We can get back to the ledge. But let's see what 17 can do. This is like the first time he's had a stock lead. And Zelda, usually with, in these type of situations, can just really frustrate your opponent. So uh, it would be great if 17 can continue to build this lead, but the roll gets caught by that snake up shield again from. Apollo Kage, he's been really good at catching that roll read for that yeah. kill up. Oh, great patience there, Ooh. especially with the down tilt of the C4. Yeah. Spot dodge here, but nothing to be found. Goes for the oh. sticky. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you wanted to force smash him into the C4? It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, great patience from Apollo Kage, seeing the opening and just get that C4 stick on Zelda. And usually when the snakes go for that, it's when they actually know they have a really good time to read your opponent, which allows you to get that opening with the C4 stick. Yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people are just willing to hold shield against Snake. Just because oh, yeah, of man. Grenades. And I don't blame them. Oh, like, you think yeah. about everything that Snake throws at you. The one thing you want to defend yourself from that is hold shield, but that also gives Snake time to come in here. Speaking of the devil here, time to come in here for 17 with the neutral air. Trying to get an opportunity in the neutral, not just found just yet. But I do like, once again, the night sets up. I talked about it earlier, dude. Like, that's the one thing that 17's been trying to do more is use those night setups to elicit a reaction from Apollo Kake. But he kind of knows what 17 is looking for, specifically in this matchup. Yeah, he's very uh, rarely getting caught by, you know, the basic Zelda traps from 17. Okay. Oh, scary stuff. He was definitely looking for a roll read. That up tool is going to come out soon. Oh, he went past oh. the red. Oh, not a good recovery. That was good on Apollo Kage, though. Yeah, he punched it very well. Okay, it goes high. Oh, he dropping shield on that, uh, that knife. Try to go for a grenade play, ends up blowing himself up, but still going really even in the percents right now. Nice. That's he has to work the trade, I would say, for 17. Oh, okay, I thought a lightning kick was coming there, but he opted for the neutral B. Still applying some decent pressure here on Apollo Kage, but he gets blown up. He's really got to watch using the knife because a lot of times Apollo Kage is blowing him up with the grenades every time. Oh, going for another cheeky up tilt setup. Going high yet again, but no catch there. A lot of scary positions on the platform. Oh man, this is really rough for both players right now. But the force smash, okay, goes high. Ooh. And the big snipe. What Dance a catch. Fire. Dance fire very, very strong with the slight charge as well. Caught that high recovery from Apollo Kage. I was actually surprised that uh, Apollo didn't react to the dense fire and just immediately like get out of the, the, the cipher, but 17 will take that. Yeah. I see. I it saw just that like alert, has... but I didn't. I didn't see if it was. A... Oh, okay. Saturn. Saturn SC. The 35 months resub. Thank you. Thank you for that resub. That continued support, man. We appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, big big shout outs to all you guys out there with the Prime sub, uh, so to speak. Here, if you guys don't know, if you have Amazon Prime. You have Prime Gaming, what was originally called Twitch Prime, but hey, you have Prime Gaming. If you don't use your Prime Gaming sub, give it to us. If you don't want to really give it to us, and I'm sorry, I don't know, man, I'll ask you, please give it to us. But if you don't use it, just know that Jeff Bezos gets to laugh at you every month for $4.99 that he can throw at somebody just for the hell of it, or maybe flush it down the toilet because he's so rich. So definitely consider dropping it down here to 2G Gaming. Uh, give us a sub, man. If you're not going to give us a sub, man, give the sub to somebody. We'll give a, have a heart out there for you guys. You like know who stream that could use your Twitch or Prime Gaming sub? Your boy, 2GG Strides at Twitch. Oh my <laughs> god. 
<laughs> good plug-in, good plug-in. Uh, coming back to the match, though, I did talk about how 17 using Zelda... Zelda has a lot of opportunities, and she does have that damage threshold, which does stop Snake from using the Cypher to recover so freely. We saw that with Dense Fire. And it's funny, too, because you mentioned it here. Apollo Kaga didn't have time to react. And usually we do see Snakes go for that Cypher for the high recovery to stall as much as possible. Yeah, um, going high is always a risk with Snake, but especially against a character like Zelda that has a great up air. And you can already see, again, with the, the Dense Fire snipe as well. It's, it's really scary. So, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that, um, I don't know. The Fall Guy is, uh, going for some pre punchable lendings when he chooses to go high. Definitely surprised for that, but we'll see what the adaptation here is in this game. He's being able to actually go back to Pokemon Stadium, too, despite winning here on the first game. All right, we got that C4 stick in play. Uh, he's trying to get it on Zelda right now, because it's, right now it's still stuck to him, I think. But uh, yeah, I don't know that I don't remember the timer on C4. Well, it fell off now, so it's fine. But yeah, I don't remember the timer exactly on C4. So I always get scared when the snake gets stuck with his own C4. Like how much time he has left until he has to worry about blowing himself up. Yeah, I don't remember the timer. I can't, I don't want to tell you guys it's 30 seconds, but I don't want to say it's not. So definitely we'll see how that comes out into play. Good on 17 to use the double oh my God. Nehru's love and still able to recover the flowers win here and the knight set up there. This is going to force Apollo Kaga to be on that platform. Perfect for those up airs. Yeah, even if he doesn't hit the up air, there's just so much pressure that there's no reason not to keep throwing it out. Especially if the snake doesn't have a grenade in play, but oh my God, it just immediately gets in his face with that up B. A lot of times the snake is just trying to set up with the grenades, gets cough guard by that move, but the C4 catching 17 yet again. He's got to have a little bit better awareness on that because he keeps just getting blown up by it when he thinks he's safe on the other side of the stage. There's a grab. Grab armor through the grenade. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunate. Still had the grenade in place, so no way to get a combo from that. All right. Going high yet again. Nice delayed air dodge. Interesting. Okay, he's going. Oh, down throw here? No, it doesn't get the tech chase he's looking for. Oh man, it's a lot of pressure at the ledge. Double grenade toss here. Unfortunately, right. only covers neutral plane and the platform here. 17 and not being found anywhere in those situations. I'm told. Oh, wow, what a read, what a read, what a read. So strong. Yes. Very good anti hero, too. Something that 17 is doing really well, though, is uh, seeing when Snake pulls a grenade on the ground, he can just run up and get a grab. Even slow character like Zelda can uh, punish Snake for doing that. Oh, a little bit of a miss input there from Power Kage, but still holding on to this stock right now. Harry's the knight, but that move does have a little bit of a win box, so. Yeah, it does. Push you back. I do like that 17 understands, like, Apollo Kage still has a lead in terms of in terms of stock here, but it's important to really hold center stage and then just frustrate the heck out of Snake in that situation because you still want to hold the lead as much as possible. Even if you're just a 0%, you have the stage lead, and that counts as a lot. Yeah. Stage control is key in most matchups, especially in this type of uh, matchup with two characters with strong zoning uh, opportunities. Oh, oh no. Very fast attack. Yeah. Uh, I mean... You, you try to make something happen against Snake, but in that kind of situation where you see Snake's holding shield, you might as well just go for a throw combo at low percent as Zelda, like a down beating Ben in this matchup. So I'm curious where uh, 17's gonna go. Oh, back to Battlefield, okay. No, nah, not a huge surprise. 17 already did really well here before. I just always get surprised that uh, opponents let the player go back to the stage they won on. I would just expect them to ban it. But. Yeah, Battlefield is an interesting choice here to go back onto, but I totally respect 17. 17 did win on Battlefield. There are situations where Zelda and Knight can trap the platforms in a specific situation where Snake may be trying to land on them. But we'll see, man. Apollo Kage has 
a little bit of the lead, and even when he doesn't have the lead, those grenades over time do do damage enough to, like, Zelda has to be careful, like, in that situation here. Apollo Kaka was very, probably really scared, but he had a grenade to cover him there on the platform, and then this is what kind of buying him pretty much a decent amount of stage control. Oh, oh, missed the back air. I, Closer I'm 17. Dead, that was a great up B out of show. Oh my goodness. Paul Kage, he's trying to get in on this Zelda, but the knight is just right there. Nice. Nice. nice job. Yep, force him into the corner. Scare him with the knight and then just get the grab. Guaranteeing that slash to connect. Oh my goodness. He just reflected the, the grenade back in Snake's face and did 30%. <laughs> I forgot that the reflector isn't just sending the items back, it does a damage multiplier as well. Okay. Tech chase here, nice. Excellent with the forward smash. smash. Right. Yeah. He's also playing around the grenades too. Like he'll just set up all his projectiles while also avoiding the grenades. But there's the up tilt. At 115 on battlefield, killing really, really early. Yeah. Hopefully 17 recognizes that snakes. Damage output is crazy, so he shouldn't get super complacent with this lead he has because it doesn't take much for Apollo Kaga to bring it all the way back. Oh, and as I say that, <laughs> already very close. Oh, that was good, that was good, that was good. Yeah, able to capitalize off the hit sun from the grenade. Apollo Kaga with a little bit of patience there, looking to see how 17 was going to land. Oh no, 17's in a, I was gonna say, 17's in a really tough spot. Back air out of the shield, no down under there for Apollo Kage. Back throw, nice. And oh, he tried nice. to read that at an excellent opportunity. C4 to cover the platform. This is big oh, for all, 17, yeah. Because These are all amazing traits for Apollo Kage. This match has already snowballed very, very out of control for 17. But there's the back air out of shield. Uh, Apollo Kage read the roll with the up tilt, but he's just so slow. Okay, let's see what the comeback is. Yeah, 17 or 100%, oh, but unfortunately... God, we don't care what you're going to do. I'm just going to kick you in the face. This move kills ridiculously early. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a 